Cara Walker's in today to talk green. Welcome back to The Catch. Hello, Fred. Lovely to see you again. And how is Little River? Little River is beautiful. Because for those people who haven't caught you, you had a baby this I year. I did a have boy. a baby, yes. And how old is he now? He is now three and a half months old, so All yeah. go well. What are the, th the things you've learned about motherhood that are good? About motherhood, um, first of all, what mothers say is true. It's exhausting and relentless, but at the same time, no matter what happens, they're worth every moment. Absolutely beautiful. And, and, and that's obviously what you enjoy about it. I guess they are worth it. Yeah, you know what? You're so in love. The love that you feel, you just look into these little ones' eyes. What's the it's worst amazing. task of being a mum? Um, Changing you, nappies? No, I don't care about that. You don't even think about it. It's more just, you know, like hourly feeds at night time. You just start to get, oh my goodness. Can I say you're looking radiant, Thank amazingly you. radiant, Yay as a fairy does? <laughs> Glittery. <laughs> Glittery. I didn't put sparkles on today, I don't think, so no, thank you. You've got the, the sparkles going on Oh, there, yeah, that's beautiful. a little, little bit of zhuzh. Yay. What are we talking about today? So, do you know what? I don't know if you've realised, but mm. it is a beautiful day outside the studio. Fantastic It day. is, and because we've reached the glorious doorway of spring, so mm. I would like to talk about spring to life with the season. Go for it. I know. So, the first of all, I wanted to say, let's go outside. We were just having a brief discussion about this before. Did you know there's actually a vitamin D deficiency epidemic going on at the moment. Do you know what? I have yeah. to say yes, because yeah. I'm diabetic and they told me that if I go out in the sun, I don't know yep. if it's true, yep. but getting a lot of sunlight helps with diabetes, but yeah. I don't know if that's true. Um, I can't speak if the doctors are saying that yeah. to you. I know that it's really good for absorbing calcium yep. and it's actually hugely related to depression and mm -hmm. suicide rates. Oh, well. You know, people in countries where they get less sunshine, they have a lot of tanning beds there and it's actually recommended by doctors to go and get some UV rays on the tan beds because there's not enough sunlight. In Australia, we have beautiful days UV ratings not too high now is the time to go outside take a mm. walk and soak it in because it's so beautiful so are we not doing that we're not doing is that. that because of all the I, new you know I don't want to this is a bit of a you know careful what mm. to say kind of thing because they say you meant to slip slop slap and put on heaps of sunscreen um, you know my mum's gonna kill me but I don't actually wear sunscreen anymore oh like, wow you know I don't spend I'm not and you're quite tanned aren't I'm you? quite tanned but I don't spend a whole day out on a roof you know or anything like that do you know what I mean I'm not a, a tradie outside or I'm not playing sports probably a pretty good looking <laughs> tradie you... I'm not doing cricket for eight hours so you know my lifestyle's good I go and I choose to have a certain amount mm. of time in the sunshine I don't believe in the chemicals that mm. are in sunscreen I think that's more cancerous for you than sunshine but that's my opinion and there's some other people well, each to their own there's some people out there that think the same but I do really mm -hmm. think we need more sunshine. So, so what do we need to do? Like if you're saying to people, because well, people will say to you, oh, I'm busy, I can't go in the sun, but what, how can they do it without even noticing it? Yeah, well get up a little bit earlier. Morning sunshine is beautiful. All you need, I think, is five to ten more minutes a day. So mm. go for a walk. And also when you come home, just don't just, you know, jump on TV. Yep. Go for a walk. Pick up your family and go for a walk. Drive to the coast, go to your local park, have a bit of a cruise outside. I think that's quite a, uh, mm -hmm. quite a vital step to sustaining a beautiful lifestyle. And with this beautiful weather, why miss no, exactly. So it's a gorgeous thing to do. Switch off your screens and go outside. All right, another spring yep. to life thing is, um, I don't know if you realise this, but the um, the moths in your cupboards are about to start breeding again. I saw one in my wallet you yesterday. You did. Okay, they start to happen. Do you know what? It, the best way to deal with this is yep. to prevent it. Now's the time oh. to get all your old jars and seal all your things that are in plastic, cup, in plastic yep. things. Okay, they can yep. actually break into them. They have a little piercer and before you know it, you've got really? this mummership of, of moths inside your pasta. Why are they always in the pantry? Why are they there? Is it because they, they, they seek that's, out things? It's the food, yeah, yeah. They go in there to get the food. So Because I go like this. <laughs> and, and they tend to dust. That powdery hands. I know, but it's disgusting. It right? is. And by the end of summer, it's just chaos. And, you and have they're to always watch around it. flour. I know. I know. They love and flour. you go to bake a cake and they've ruined so much stuff. And I hate it. I buy yeah. organic. I don't buy cheap stuff. And, you know, you go to yeah. make a cake and they've destroyed mm. a whole packet of mm. things. So now's the time to prevent it. Put everything in jars, reuse your packets and store it up so it's ready to go. Another thing, I want you to empty out your towels and all your blankets. Yep. Okay, we've got cupboards full of crap. Now's the time to spring clean your cupboards. Take it to your local animal shelter. It's a great way. Of Wonderful, with the reuse it. Exactly, and organise a fun day to get together with your friends and have a clothes swap party. Clean out your cupboards, exchange your clothes, and spring clean, get new stuff, get rid of your old stuff, and have a clothes swap party. So Wonderful. that's four of my eco fairy tips. You get out the sunshine, yep, go out in the sun, sort out your cupboards, sort out the cupboards. Okay, I want you to put all your blankets at the animal shelter, yes, and I want Wonderful. you to have a clothes swap, and last of all, get outside and do some gardening as well. Sounds okay. fantastic. fantastic. It, where are you off to today? 
off today. I'm back to look after my little beautiful river and take him for a walk along the coast. Well, have a <laughs> wonderful day in the sun. Thank you, Fred. This is Cara Walker, Talking Green as always, making sense. If you want more information about what Cara talks about and all her interesting topics, please check out her website, but you can do that through ours. It is thecouch.com.au. Thecouch.com.au. Go to the segment page. You see her beautiful glowing face. Click on it and you go to her website. And can I say I go to her website because you never know what you might find on there. Even those people who aren't greenies or environmental, there's great stuff on there that I, I learnt as well. Thank you very much to Cara. Thank you, Fred. Say hello to River. I will. And we'll sure. see you soon on the couch. Thank you. We need to take a break. We'll be back with more of the couch after this.